Not bad. Well, with all of that beer getting ready to flow this weekend, we thought we'd take a look back at the history behind the brew. Yeah, only the baseball brewers have a limited season. <laughs> yes. Well, that history has evolved. It's evolved from large-scale breweries, some of those still exist, but to more smaller craft breweries that are often part of a restaurant. And those are the type right now in northeast Wisconsin that have about a dozen in the area. Yeah, Fox 11's Eric Peterson has the story this evening of that evolution in the Green Bay area. It all began on Green Bay's west side, about a block away from the present-day Hinterland Brewery. When we were looking to locate downtown, we were trying to get to the site of the old Blush Brewery, which is possibly the oldest in Green Bay. It was 1851 when the Francis Blush Brewery went into business. The German immigrant was trained in the craft, and the people of Green Bay would be his customers. Between uh, the Belgians and the Germans that were here, uh, they're, they're all interested in brewing beer, um, and beer was very popular. Others would soon follow. There are names that people remember all the time, like Hograve and Rar. On Main Street, on Green Bay's east side, somewhere between the BP and Jimmy John's, the RAR brewery operated up until the 1960s. They obviously disappeared off the map, but, but uh, I think there still is a heritage here, and, and there's a lot of uh, uh, folks that still remember. In the shadow of where it all began, a new generation of brewers has taken off. Hinterland Brewing opened in 1995. Today it produces 60,000 cases of beer a year. I uh, like the artistic approach to making beer. I also like the mechanical end of it. And less than a block away, Titletown Brewing Company has been making specialty brews since 1996. This is the rise of the craft breweries. It's kind of bringing back something that really was here before, just in a different way. I often wonder about what, what, what uh, making beer in Green Bay was like back in, in, uh, in those days. And, and um, there's something fun about saying that we're picking up the ball and carrying it the next uh, leg of the race. In Green Bay, Eric Peterson, Fox 11 News. Today's brewers say they hope future generations will look back and appreciate the contributions made to keeping the Wisconsin brewing tradition alive.